Um, what you guys have is 3, 4, and x. All right. Um, what you guys are going to be doing in this example is we now need to go ahead and apply our Pythagorean theorem. So what I want you guys to be looking at is when you're doing this problem, you need to first we need to determine what is our a, b, and c, right? What are our legs and our hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse to me is the, one of the um, simpler to determine. Because if I see it, my right triangle, because we know we have to have a right angle, right? And we see that box is our right angle. That's our right triangle. So if we take our right angle and we just put an arrow right at the corner of it, that's going to point to our hypotenuse. And we, we use the hypotenuse in our general formula for Pythagorean theorem. We label that what letter of the alphabet? C. It doesn't matter, guys. You can label it any letter of the alphabet. But in my initial definition, we had it labeled as C. But you can label it anything you want to. And therefore, the other two were what we called our legs. And our legs, we labeled as A and B. But in this case, we don't need to label this as B because we already have it labeled as that. We don't even know the value of it, right? So rather than just labeling it, guys, I'm going to have to, do you remember how I exploded that desk? This is going to be the next one. No, I okay? I know, no, no, it's okay. I'm just saying in general. It's not just, just that. In general, like this whole class period, it's been an issue. Um, so, so what you guys can see is, yeah, we'll label this B here. All right? So if we go through the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and then I just look at this, I say, well, A squared, that's going to be 3 <coughs> squared. B squared is actually x. We don't know the value of that. And then C squared is going to equal six, uh, 4. Right? That's your C, 4. Remember, because C is represented our hypotenuse. It's always our two legs squared add up to give us our hypotenuse squared. Okay. So these are your two legs. That's your hypotenuse. Why but you put um, I like to put parentheses just because that's telling me that I'm uh, plugging that number in. So, so that you don't have to. You don't have to no. Um, so then now I just go and evaluate. 3 squared is going to be 9 plus x squared equals 16. Then I need to solve for x. So what's happening to my x? You need to first undo. You subtract, right? You subtract the? Very good. Subtract 9. So therefore, you have x squared equals 7. And now, to undo the square root, to square, I have to take the square root. And since that's going to produce an irrational number, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, you guys don't need to do the decimal format for me. Um, for right now, we're just going to leave it there. Even though square root of 7 should be 2.6457513, I think the first five digits of it. Um, and then what? Because the square root, square root of.